vodka, a drink usually made from wheat or potatoes. But how do you make it entirely out of milk? Well, here's the man who's done it. Well, I knew the um, Mongolians um, used to make uh, alcohol out of mare's milk. They managed to conquer half the world with it. Um, so um, I thought, I'd been a dairy farmer, I'll give it a bash. Jason's family have been dairy farming for generations, but five years ago he decided to diversify. When I first um, made it and drunk it, then it was a bit of a eureka moment because it was just so smooth and very drinkable. Um, I knew it just, um, it definitely had legs basically, yeah. And so far, so good. In the last two years, he's produced 30,000 bottles which are selling in farmers markets, restaurants and in bars in Singapore. So how is it made? Jason won't give much away. Over the years, there's, we've, as dairy farmers, have had it fairly hard and I'm sure there's plenty of other dairy farmers that want to do the same, basically. So, um, mum's the word. But here's what we can tell you. The milk is separated into curds and whey. The curds go off to make cheese, and the whey contains the sugar we need to produce the alcohol. Using a special yeast, the milk sugar is fermented to make a milky beer. That beer is then distilled. So what happens when it gets to this stage? Well, basically, the milk gets turned into the cheese, into the cheddar, and then the rest of it goes as whey, and then we come and pick up parts of the whey that we need to make the vodka. Anything more than that? Well, well, I could do, but I'd have to shoot you afterwards. And the result is this, a clear liquid. So the test is in the tasting, Jason. It is. Have a go. I know you won't be disappointed. It's actually incredibly smooth. Cheers. How many of these have you had today? Well, you've had three. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had two. So. Anna Ball, BBC Spotlight, Bayminster.